In today's episode, we look into some amazing benefits of asafoetida in your garden as a fertilizer and as a pesticide to treat various plant diseases and pests. Coming up. First and foremost, I always repeat these lines. Please avoid the use of chemical pesticides and fertilizers which have a lot of hazardous effects on humans and animals. That's the main reason why we promote the use of natural agents or organic pesticides and fertilizers in this gardening channel. Well, what is asafoetida? Asafoetida, also known as hing, is a common flavoring agent found in most kitchens. It's actually dried latex or gum exuded from the rhizome or taproot of Ferula asafoetida plants. What is the scientific basis of its use in gardening and farming? First of all, let's look into its composition. Typical asafoetida contains 40 to 64 percent of resin, 25 percent of endogenous gum, 10 to 17 percent of volatile oil and 1.5 to 10 percent of ash. The resin portion and the volatile oil portion contain a lot of strong compounds that are responsible for its pungent odor and its beneficial properties. Apart from its medicinal properties, asafoetida has some amazing uses in gardening and farming as a pesticide to control many pests and insects including termites, also to repel rodents and animals from your garden or farm and also to treat some plant diseases like leaf curl virus or the leaf curl disease which otherwise has absolutely no treatment. We'll look into how to use asafoetida for each of these problems. Firstly, how to use asafoetida to treat leaf curl disease. Take 1 litre of sour buttermilk. You can also take 500 ml if you have fewer plants. Add 1 teaspoon or about 5 grams of asafoetida powder to it and mix it well. Let it stay for about 1-2 to two hours. Sieve this solution using a fine cloth to avoid the spray bottle clogging. Spray this thoroughly over the affected plant including the underside of the leaves. Repeat this every 3 days for 3-4 to four times. Leaf curl disease which is common in pepper and tomato plants will be completely cured by this treatment most of the times. At number 2, how to use asafoetida to repel insects and termites? Take 50 grams of asafoetida. Raw cake form is better. Put this in a small piece of cotton cloth and make a small sack like this. Hang this over the tree or the plant where you want to repel unwanted insects including termites. The disagreeable odor repels the termites and even other insects. At number 3, how to use asafoetida to repel unwanted animals and rodents. Sometimes these rodents and other animals including even your pets like cats and dogs create havoc in your gardens. Most of these animals hate the strong pungent smell of asafoetida. To make it effective you need to use a lot of asafoetida wrapped up in a cotton cloth to repel these animals. Perhaps about 100 grams of asafoetida may help protect an area of about 1 to 2 square meters. It may not appear so much cost effective, but it depends on the intensity of your problem. At number 4, how to use asafoetida as an organic fertilizer and why? Using asafoetida as a liquid fertilizer is said to boost plant immune system and protect it from various diseases in the long run. Add about 2 grams of raw asafoetida or pure powder form to 1 litre of water. Mix it well by stirring continuously. Then water your plants with this solution once in a while, preferably in the early growth stages of the plant to confer this immunity. You can also mix more of it per litre of water and then dilute the solution accordingly and then water your plants once in a while. You can also foliar spray this solution over your plants. At number 5. How to use asafoetida as an organic pesticide? Asafoetida alone may not be effective to control common pests in our gardens like the aphids, mealybugs, whiteflies, thrips, mites and so on. But mixing this with other ingredients can make it a powerful natural pesticide to control these pests. Take 1 liter of water and then add 5 grams of asafoetida powder or cake form. 
then add neem oil of about 5 ml mix it well and spray it on the affected plants weekly once if neem oil is not available then you can make use of other stuff to make it more powerful we have done a lot of videos on these alternate pesticides you can check the playlist from this end screen link circled right here please like share and comment below with your feedback and queries happy gardening